everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So in the last episode we ended it by trying to kill some guys and I killed those guys. Did you really? No, I died like several times. Yes, it, it was like a total ball ache. And so we stopped wow. filming. Five jump cuts like that and here we are going to the dilapidated bridge. What a great name. Again. So basically we're going to go back and we're going to try and get to the Road of Sacrifices, which right. remember where yes. we had to go up the lift? Yes, we made We have to go sacrifices. down. When you met that guy. Yep, Siegmeier. We now have to go down. Down. Okay. Tell you what, because that giant fella is going to be helping us, let's go and collect some items from this area. Actually, I wonder if he's going to kill this guy for us. Probably not. Again, I mean, you say you played this, you played the intro to this game. Yeah. Um, how do you know which way to go? I mean, is there a lot of trial and error? Or a lot of trial error? and error. Okay. Uh, but actually, it's it's weirdly linear. It looks it looks surprisingly complicated, but actually, okay. it loops it loops back round into itself a lot. And some of them are just bits that you go up, and then they're just a dead end. Right. So basically, most of the things that you can see, at least this is what they said when they first announced and released trailers for the game, is everything you can see, you can visit or go really? into. Apparently. Well, that um, is admirable. I mean, that's. Uh... They basically said, if you can see it, you can you can be inside it. Hmm, so then our lad's going to shoot them. <laughs> Very slow travelling arrows, I must say. Thanks, giant dude, guy. I don't know his name. Make one up. Don't shoot me! We're mates now! Go on, I, I wanna, he just I wanna, killed I wanna, all our enemies. I want a name for the giant. Should we give him a name? Yes. He must have a name, but let's give him our own. What do you want to call him? I chose the last name. Ooh. I call my girlfriend Princess Orange in a hastily oh, yeah. thought Mr. about Mr. Hoggles um, and Princess Orange. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we speech. need to give we need to give the giant a name. Um, she was saying ironic, like um, little man or something. Um, Titch. Titch. Yeah, Titch. Like you're Titchy, small. Oh, okay. Like slang for small. Is that why Titchy Strider is called Titchy Strider? Tinchy. Tinch is how his is actually. Do you do you know where the Tinchy term Titch Strider. comes from? Yeah, his name is Tinchy Strider. No, where is it? Titch is... Story time! Yeah. So for those of you who don't know and want a little bit of Game Hog trivia, Titch comes from a uh, an old comedian who was called... Uh, he was a very short man and he was called Little Titch. And um, that that therefore became... He's actually been immortalised as a result. He's not... When you watch it now, you're like, this isn't funny. At the time, he was like, you know, yeah, uh, groundbreaking. Yeah. It's it's very Charlie Chaplin-esque. He had this one particular pair of shoes that just looked like a standard uh, black... Ah! A black <laughs> lot of business shoes or something. But they have these long, flippery things on the front. And he used to stand on the, on the end and then be like, you know, seven foot tall instead of four. And it was, you know, it was very funny at the time. When you watch it now, you're like, this is painful. When but, was you know, that time? Uh, 30s, I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know the dates. It was from QI I learned that, so it must be true. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I was never, I was never really a fan of QI, to be honest. What? It's like the best show on telly. Yeah, it's too... Fans much. of QI, leave a comment, because it's the best. It's too random. What's your favourite QI fact you've ever learned? Let us know in the comment section. It's too random. What's, it's, what do you mean it's too random? It's too random, like... The, Different quiz names and the sounds and the rounds and it's, it's not random way. at all. You just don't understand it. It's just way... oh, come on, that's such a lame thing to say. No, because it's not. As someone who loves it and knows it backwards, it's very easy. I'm not saying I don't understand. I'm just saying I just don't find it very interesting. That's fine. But it's quite interesting, and that's the point. There's some people. That's what QI stands for. Quite. Oh, uh, see. Oh. <laughs> very funny. No, that is actually what QI stands for. Yeah, no, I know that. But, uh, very, very good. I'm impressed. Oh, we're back here, are we? Yes, we are. Turn off your aloof anti-QI stuff now, Harry, and we'll move on to the next chunk of the game. I'm allowed to hate QI. Well, I not don't, not I, when I'm here. No, I, don't, I don't hate it, I just don't enjoy it. That's fine. Do, are you a fan of any panel shows? I do love Have I Got News For You. Great show. Fantastic show. I'm a big fan of panel shows. In fact, uh, every day of university was spent watching panel shows. <laughs> not studying. No, fuck no. What did you study? Uh, I did a degree in sound technology and digital music, which huh. is basically... Uh, a nonsense title. And um, here you are playing video games. Really. Quite right, yeah. The thing is, I wonder if they ever do degree. I wonder if they'll ever do degrees for like YouTube. Oh, I imagine soon they will. Will be social media, won't it? There must be social media degrees, but the like, thing is, you can't have a degree. Well, there's going to be people who do social media who disagree with me. By the way, one of my job roles is a social media manager, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not judging and saying social media is all tosh. I'm saying no, that the um, like the kind of level of stuff. That, do you know? What? I'm I'm not even going to say anymore. I've offended people, I'm sorry. I'm a social media guy, social media's handy. Let's use social media. Yeah, it's, it's the way of the world these days. It's, it is. Things have changed. I mean, if you'd have said to me 10 years ago, you know, you can make a, a living playing video games. You'd go, no, you I can't. would have said, no, come on. Well, my parents would have said, no, shut up, you stupid child. 
get an education. Well, there's a lot of and, people uh, who um, who are still quite like that. So, for instance, I know that um, Danny Sexbang of um, Game Grumps mm -hmm. is uh, like when he first did it. Obviously, his parents were very concerned, and as you would be, they're just they're just he scared did, for you. He did music, didn't he? He, uh, he did, yeah. Which is obviously, um, as we all know, the music industry is one of oh god, is one of the most fickle there is. And of it's, course, yeah. it's very hard to do well. And to Danny's credit, he has done well. Obviously, his parents, when he first did it, were, were scared for him, and that's, you know, that's oh, normal. Yeah, it's normal for your parents to worry for you, and people get, people, oh, they don't understand me. It's like, no, they totally understand you. They're just worried you're making a shit decision. Things change. I mean, in the Your past... parents know what's best for you most of the time. Listen to your parents, kids. When you got to remember, the par our parents' parent generation hasn't seen as much change in technological improvement as, as ours has. Correct. And uh, again, like, you wouldn't have seen these careers being even talked about. 20, 30 years ago, and, and now, you know, these things are huge. Yeah, it, it's it's very interesting. Oh, I got on the wrong lift. Can, right. you, just, can you just jump down there? I could, but then I'd die, so now I'm back oh. down the bottom because the sodding lift didn't work. Okay, right. Right, so now we have to take this on. Better drink up. Slurp. Right. Again. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna take some green blossom. So oh, actually, I've got a new ring that I need to put on. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. Admin. I've got loads of new rings. What the F? What right, the right. absolute F? I, I don't know. Lower equip lowering equip load increases attack. Does that mean increasing it decreases attack? The more you know. I I'm, I um I don't know. Seven. Yes. <laughs> just I lo I love answering like yes to a question that just doesn't seem to warrant it. But that's just me. Right. Uh, let's see. What can I do here? I have. I need. I don't have charcoal resin. What? So basically what I'm about to do is gonna paint me I, with fire! It's okay, I, I don't have charcoal resin on me either, so... We're, we're, we're do you not? <laughs> oh, well then we're all fine. So if I use this, skadoosh, flame sword! And then we're gonna have to kill this fucker. So get prepared. Get psyched, bitch! Okay, so here's more, here's my oh, question. Shit. Is that so far... Oh, I oh. used the wrong kind of pine resin, I'm sorry. What I was talking about, never mind. Sorry, mate. sorry, <laughs> carry on. So far, I've only seen you use um, swords or first-handed attacks by hitting someone. The bosses have been the same. Are there no long-range attacks like there arrows? There are long-range or... attacks, yes. So why don't you use them? Uh, I don't have... All the enemies have attacked you close up and you could quite happily get them from a long way away. I don't think I have a bow or a, a crossbow yet, but right. I get one later. But you have arrows. I do, but I don't actually have the bow to shoot them. I see. I, I see. Okay. Uh, you can get spells as well, uh, which we just okay. we don't have the level to do yet. I suppose it's still. I early. need to kill this guy. Fuck, that was easy. Yes, that took me so many times the first time I did it. Oh, we got a sword. Nice Ithril sword, eh? An Ithril straight sword. Right. Sounds good. Sounds good. That means we've already made it to the road of sacrifices, which is at last. Cool. Yeah, exactly. I'm very curious to see this road of sacrifices. Do your noise. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Thanks very much for watching this episode of Dark Souls 3. We've just got to the Road of Sacrifices. We will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye, Bye oh, Okay, here we oh, go. Wow. The boss battle has begun. I bet you didn't need to see that in the corner. I didn't, and oh, those are those mad, are mad balls. Mad testes going on here. Who? Yay! It's Sigma! So this guy is a huge reference. He's in the 